I don't know if many of you already know about this custom room or not. We are talking about Dubfest OS based on Android 13, one of the custom rooms which is having all the customizations, nice UI and yes, kind of underrated device. So we'll talk about some of the things in this video. Stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. This is also the new version like other custom rooms which is having the April security patch. A lot of custom rooms based on April security patch are coming right now. And if you want to know about all of those custom rooms, make sure to subscribe this channel because a lot of custom room videos are coming on our channel very very soon so stay tuned for that. If I move on to the wallpapers and style options, you'll be able to see this is having this some system icon pack options for you, which is having this Xperia icon pack. Not every custom room provides you this custom icon pack. If you like this one, you can use this. We also have some custom fonts options. There are many fonts options and these fonts are working systemlessly and you don't need any kind of root access for that and it should work in almost every system app and the user app. It's, it's just completely fine. If we move on to the default launcher, as expectedly, of course, it's not the Pixel launcher. We have Derp launcher. It is Derp Fest OS, which is having the icon pack support. We have the option to turn off at a glance. You can also disable the search bar. Lens option is present and we have the dark status bar option. We also have the hidden and protected apps feature, which means you have the option to hide the apps from the launcher or even protect the apps, which means app locker. All the things are present here in this default launcher looks quite good and almost everything which you need in a device as a, in a custom room is present here. If I move on to the game space options, what you will be able to notice here, the new UI. New UI, of course, not better than Evolution X OS, to be honest, because I found in Evolution X OS, we have many other features, but in this one, only few of the things here and there. If you play games, of course, you will look into these kind of things. I don't play games much, so I'm not sure about this one, but this game space is just not so bad. One more thing which I just wanted to let you know in the wallpaper section is we have some pre-installed wallpapers. Some wallpapers are super good, some wallpapers are not. So yes, if you like any one of these wallpapers, you can apply that right now on a device without internet connection. And this is not a separate app available or installed on this device on this custom room. You can simply move on to the wallpaper section and you will be able to apply that. This all this custom room also gives you the facility to use a parallel space. A lot of custom rooms removed this feature previously once, but you can use this thing. For example, click on plus icon. And by the way, you can create more than one parallel space, more than one instance of that app. You can use that. And this looks very good. This is one of the most useful things out there. Of course, MIUI by default provides you this thing, but in AOSP custom rooms or these kind of custom rooms, you need something like this one and this is already included parallel space is one of the must have feature for every custom room right now this custom room also brings you the desktop mode option the option which i found actually originally in libre mobile os which is lmo droid and if you want to know about more about that custom room i'll pin that video link in the comment section so make sure to check out that we also have some app locker support options available and why i am talking about this app locker let me show you if i move on here and check out the protected apps option you will be able to notice you can even lock the system app so that's very very good of course you got the idea already previously when i saw it, when i shown you that option in the default launcher it's already there and you can also hide these apps from the launcher so that's amazing almost everything you need is already present here one more thing is if you're able to notice in the power menu which you can customize by default not every custom room provides you this feature we have the option to customize the power menu we have android 7 style we have this grid style as you can see this is how the ui is looking like options are basically same only the ui is changing the android 8 style power menu like this one in the right side and we have the option for this Android 11 style power menu. So whichever you feel comfortable with, you can use that power menu. These power menu options are super good and you can get this power menu uh, by default even, even without using this custom room too. I made a video on my Hindi channel. If you hadn't checked it out yet, you can go and check that classic power menu video. The miscellaneous options, the traffic indicators, we have a status bar items, some status bar customizations are included, notification customizations as expectedly retigger notifications, some options related to quick settings, some options related to clear all button where you can customize that clear all button. 
this looks very very good and if i move on to other options you'll be able to see some lock screen shortcut options are also there you can customize that if you want to left shortcut or right shortcut i don't use these things much so that's why i'm not going to talk about these things much we have some customization options by the way and this is one of the custom moments which brings you the some ui style options we these are super good and if you want to know more about these things simply install this custom home and you should not regret link is available in the description thanks for watching and goodbye